But first, preparations underway for a first ever mayoral runoff election in Boise. Lauren McLean won 46% of the vote last night. Incumbent Mayor Dave Beter received 30% of the votes. The rules say a candidate needs 50% plus one to win. So get ready for another election on December 3rd. Our Joey Prechtel has reaction today from both candidates. So Joey, it looks like the campaigning continues. Yeah, Kim, even last night at McLean's headquarters, volunteers were already signing up for door knocking shifts over the next few weeks. So the work is far from over as these two candidates battle one another to see who will be the mayor of Boise come 2020. And we can make history if we yeah, yes. give it our all in the next four weeks. The celebration was short for Lauren McLean's campaign as they geared up for the first ever mayoral runoff in the city of Boise's history. We will do what we've done this whole time, which is talk to voters where they're at, whether it be in listening sessions or at their door or by text and phone call. She said she was surprised to lead incumbent Mayor Dave Beter by 16%. Well, you never walk into an election with an expectation that one, you'll win or and two, that you'll come out ahead. Mayor Beter wasn't available for an on-camera interview, but did release a statement that said in part, the results from last night's election made one thing clear. The people of Boise need more time and a robust dialogue to determine who their next mayor is. I welcome the opportunity to distinguish myself even more with my main competitor, Council Member McLean. Both candidates will now be working to secure the vote from the residents that voted for one of the other seven candidates. This campaign is about working with everyone, and so I'll be reaching out, having conversations, and hoping to earn votes. Beter added in his statement, over the next four weeks, we will work even harder to bring this election to more Boiseans so they can determine who they trust with the future of our city. Now, if McLean were to win, she would make history as Boise's first ever elected female mayor. That's a first, and it's, a, it's something that I don't take lightly at all. Now, the runoff election will take place on December 3rd. Absentee ballots will be available, but you must get your request into the clerk's office the Friday before Thanksgiving. And early voting will take place the two weeks before Election Day. The only day they're going to be closed during the week is actually on Thanksgiving. Kim? Well, Joey, what's this runoff election going to cost taxpayers, though, in Boise? Well, I did ask uh, 80 County Clerk Phil McGrain that question, Kim, and he told me that it's going to cost the city of Boise $100,000. Normally, 80 County covers the cost of elections, but since this runoff is only dealing with the city of Boise, he did say that the city will have to pay for this election this time around. And the